Looked up the Pablo Escobar, money meet and chop four. That's my top three. Bitch, I was serving the sidewalk, then I copped the drop. Hey, YouTube, this is Mrs. Chopper. We went to church today and we wanted to share with you the message that we received. You don't know which way to go. Jesus, hey, Lord Jesus. And you just feel lost inside. You feel like you're against the brick wall. Hey, we just need to call this name Jesus. Hey, hallelujah, Lord. Let your spirit dwell within us this morning, Lord Jesus. Hey, yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Heavenly Father, Jesus. Mm. Hey, Father, we give you all the glory and all the praise in your precious Son, name Jesus. Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Our speaker this morning is Elder Tommy Walker. He is Jesus, but let us keep praising God. Amen. Don't get slain, let his spirit dwell. Don't yes. get too quiet, you just want to praise God. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. We can't let nothing slip in. We need uh -uh. We got to keep praising him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angel bounty for him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Glory be to God. 
Glory, glory, glory. Glory be to God. It says in John 15th chapter, starting at the ninth verse and reading down to the 17th verse. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. Yes, yes. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Yes. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friend. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. Amen. No longer do I call you servant. For a servant does not know what his master is doing. Yes. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard from my father, mm -hmm. I have made known to you. Yes. Yes. You did not choose me. But I chose you and appointed you yes. that you should go and bear fruit yes. and that your fruit shall remain that whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. Yes. These things I command you that you love one another. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. This is the word of God for the people of God. And for by saying thanks be to God. Look at your friend and neighbor and say, I want to be a perfect friend. Perfect friend. Perfect friend. The word friend in the Bible dictionary is described as a close trusting relationship between two people. The Merriam-Webster dictionary defines friend as a person on intimate and affectionate terms with another. God demonstrated his love for us by giving his only begotten son to lay down his life for us. He chose us as his friends and commanded us to obey him and be fruitful. Y'all follow me? In other words, exhibit the fruits of the spirit. Therefore, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Yeah. For God says that he is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yeah. The Bible also says, let us not become conceited, yeah. provoking and envying each other. We may not have to die for someone, yeah, but there are other ways to practice sacrificial love, yeah. such as being a good listener. Yeah. I caught your guard on that one, didn't <laughs> Extending a helpful hand or expressing positive encouragement and being a friendly giver of your time and Resources. It is so good to be a giver. We should practice giving all the love we can to our neighbors and then give more is possible. Because the Bible tells us that love covers a multitude, oh my God, of sin. Therefore, God is saying to obey his commandments. To show and express your love in action. Not only saying you love me, but showing me through your actions and deeds as God has done and continues, continues to do for us. 
Therefore, continue to be kind to one another and not holding grudges or doing evil for evil. Have mercy, Lord. Then learn to forgive your neighbor quickly of their trespasses. Don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Right. Let me ask you, what kind of friend are you? I know what kind of friend I used to be. Are you a player friend? Everybody's familiar with that word player. Uh, are you the kind of friend that shows love only when it benefits you? Or are you the type of friend that all is well as long as things go your way? Are you in fact a real friend? Or just faking it to get by and get what you want? Y'all praying with me. Well, how can you become a better friend or a real friend? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. The first thing you should do is forgive everyone and everybody. That's real hard for some people. They've been holding grudges for a long, long time. I forgive you, but you didn't forgive them because you still got the but. Next, you should repent. Okay. We don't hear that too often. Amen. I asked a friend of mine, bless his soul, what does repent mean? It means don't do it no more. And then ask God to deliver you, because if you are still holding grudges and stuff, then you need to be delivered. Yeah. Then most of all, learn how to forgive yourself Amen. for allowing Satan to harden your heart against your friends Amen. and neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of us have a problem Forgiving ourselves. And we know that because you hear you sometimes putting yourself down. Sometimes you caught in a low self esteem category. You lack confidence. After you have managed to compass this, you must have a mind conversion. Yeah. What, what, what did I mean by conversion? We know that when Paul was persecuting the Christians on the road to Damascus, Jesus showed up and he was smacked with a bright light. And Jesus said, why persecute thou me? And then that was his conversion time when Jesus sent him off on a mission to preach the gospel and teach to the Gentiles. He was no longer a killer or murderer of, 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 of Christians, but he became a word for the Christians. He began to preach the good news. Yes. It was a conversion, a mind conversion. Mm -hmm. What I mean also is that you must realize that this flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. Amen. So why are you taking the flesh so seriously? There is no benefit. Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians 5, 16, therefore from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Why is that? Because the flesh is sinful and there is no good thing in the flesh. 
and the flesh will let you down again and again. So don't fret over the flesh as to what it could have done, nor what it should have done. Just be thankful for what God has brought you through in spite of your trespassing and shortcomings. Then the Bible tells us in Romans 12, 17 through 20, do not repay evil for evil. And be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everybody. If it be possible, the Bible says, as far as it depends on you, live in peace with everyone. In other words, you make the effort for peace. And that's not always easy because people say things that hurt your feelings, they do stuff to you. And you mean to tell me you want me to make up? They did it to me. The Bible tells us do not take revenge, my friend, but leave room for God's wrath. We don't need to try to do God's work. God work. For it is written, it is mine to revenge. Some Bible says a little different. I will repay, says the Lord. And he will. Because his word does not return to him void. Whatever he says, it goes on and accomplish whatever he says. In other words, don't be a peace breaker. Be a peacemaker. Huh? Huh? Y'all praying with me? It would therefore be better to practice loving your neighbor instead of hating them. It's so easy to get caught up in those isms and schisms and, and I hate you and this and that. It's so easy to get caught up in those things because we wear our feelings on our shoulders sometimes. Sometimes we go in depression because somebody didn't speak to us. Or somebody, or when your name wasn't called, you 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 you, you in depression. You have issues. You haven't been delivered. Even though you think you have, but you have. We need to be real friends and love in spite of. Again, I ask. What kind of friend are you? Are you in a clique? I've seen those cliques. And if you ain't liked by those people, you, you, you can't join the clique. You only hang with those, you know, that you think love you. But don't pay their money back. See how much they love you. I believe because we are in cliques and things of that nature, yeah. it limits our opportunity to spread the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Because when we could have developed some good, positive relationships with somebody, we started hanging with the crowd. Uh -huh. Do what the crowd do. People spend time in jail because they was hanging with the crowd. Or yeah. oh, I didn't do it but you was with the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. But to be honest with you, the justice was served on us for all our trespasses. Some of us be dead six feet under. Yet, God continues to love us as a perfect friend in spite of our sins. In spite of our sins, we still have houses and and cars and money and clothes and food in spite of. We know this because he gave his only begotten son to die for us on the cross while we were yet sinners. Therefore he looked beyond our faults and he saw our needs. What a perfect friend we have in Jesus. What a perfect thing we have yeah. in Jesus. Yeah. But to be honest with you, God has called us to unity. 
He wants us to socialize together. He wants us to love each other and take care of each other. And be intercessors for each other. Not just for your immediate family, but for all people. But we need friends, y'all. We just ain't going to admit it. We need friends. Good friends who we can trust and depend on morning, noon, and night. I don't need you just to be a day friend or evening friend or a club friend. I need you to be a friend 24-7, 24-8, huh? A real friend will wake up three o'clock in the morning, uh huh, and feed you because they love. Their love is genuine. I don't want to see your hand, but how I many y'all wake up three o'clock in the morning? I don't want to see that. I don't want to see your hand. And if you want good friends, then what? Show yourself friendly, huh? You can't be sourpuss and expect to have friends. If I see you, you sad. Like you just finished crying. They don't get no friends like that. Be lovable. In spite of your hurt, your pain, and what you're going through, still love everybody else because it's not your fault. It's not their fault that you're having a bad day. Huh? I have had some so-called friends that their words were simply just no good. They lie to you, make promises and break them. They give you a word and break them again and again. But I learned a long time ago from our sergeant in the military. He said, your word is your bond. It defines who you are. It really do. I mean, there are times when you can't keep your word, but it doesn't hurt to say, hey, I can't do what I promised you to do, and here's why. Then you still be loyal. Huh? As humans, sometimes we can't meet every goal. Huh? Sometimes we mess up or fall short because we are humans. We got all the ability in the world and we still mess up and have problems. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yesterday I was doing class online and uh, trying to get Zoom. I was right in the middle of it, talking, having a good time. My desktop computer say, ing, ing. I say, baby, can you come look at my computer? So I went downstairs and she was on hers. She got a, 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 a laptop. I still got a desktop, old school, old fashioned. I'm, it, but it belongs to her. If it hadn't belonged to her, damn, Lord have mercy. But she came up and looked at it and turned it on, turned it off, and oh, the worst thing came back on. <laughs> Thank you, wife. We have all had our experiences with friends. Some of them good, some of them bad. But what are we supposed to do anyway? Not criticize them, not abuse them, not talk about them, not put them down, but what? Still love them. Because Christ what? Set the example. He set the example for us. And that's the example that we follow. Uh -huh. That friend that stole your wife was a bad friend. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I know that hasn't happened to nobody here. <laughs> the one that took your no good husband he was a good friend, right? There are different types of friends that we deal with in this world. Some of us have what you call the casual friends, who we address as our pal, our buddy, my girl, or, or my partner. They are our road friends. We go to movies with them, uh, we, we go to the clubhouse, with them. Yeah, I say the clubhouse. Y'all don't know about the clubhouse, some of y'all. We hang with them every now and then. And they hang in our house. They are the ones that likes your wife's cooking. Mm -hmm. 
They eventually become our homegirl, our homeboy, our main man, road dog, sister, lady girl. And of course, y'all from old school, they call it Ace Boom Coon. <laughs> Then we have our secret sidekiss friends who we only hang with on the down road. Then our Spanish friends who we learn how to say que paso from, we call them amigo. And if you have Italian friends, you call them paisano. But you can't date their sister. And y'all know why. Then there are the most serious friends, known as close friends. Yeah, yeah. I, we love them close friends. Mm -hmm. You would think that they had a strong bond because it would be hard to see one without the other. Yeah. If you hit one, you had to fight both of them. <laughs> a close friend would tell you if Anybody gives you any slack, I got your back. Then some of us have a good friend. You have people say, that's my good friend right there. Well-behaved, agreeable, and useful most of the time. You never saw them do anything wrong or say anything wrong. And they always tell you like it is even if it hurts your feelings. Yeah. Then they will tell you, go ahead and do what you want to do if you think that's the best thing. Mm. Next, that is the devoted friend, mm -hmm. a dedicated friend, the tried and true friend, yeah. the one who will cry with you, won't criticize you, at least to your face. Mm -hmm. This is the supportive friend who will watch your kid why you go find your man in Mary Lou? They won't charge you for babysitting, but will remind you when they need something. Are y'all following me? But then a lot of us have what they call a best friend. The best friend. They will do anything for you. That's how they are in the title, best friend. They will drive all the way from South Carolina to North Carolina to help you wash your car. That's a best friend. They, they, they will lie for you. They will tell your wife or girlfriend you was over playing big wins and spades all night long. A best friend will send you $50 if they got it. But when your lady slipped up and called you his name, he became your ex-friend. I know y'all missed it. But look at your neighbor and tell them, I need a perfect friend. Our worldly friends do have their faults. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Sometimes they are there for us, and sometimes they are not there for yeah. us. Yeah. The 12 disciples were supposed to be Jesus' friends. Yeah. They walked with him for three years. Mm -hmm. But when he was arrested, they all fed the scene. Oh, yeah. yes, Peter, who confessed that he would go to prison and never leave Jesus, yeah. did as Jesus had predicted. Denied him three times before the rooster crow. Uh -huh. Therefore, we are to be very cautious about putting all our trust yeah. in earthly friends. Yeah. Yeah. But I stopped by to tell you about a friend from Galilee. Yeah. He raised the dead and he made the blind see. Yeah. He will never leave you nor forsake you. When I'm weak, he is strong. Yeah. He's a friend indeed and a friend when I'm in need. Yeah. I'm 
reminded of the friendship that Ruth had established with Naomi in the book of Ruth, the first chapter, verse 16 through 17, where she said, Entreat me not to leave you or turn back from following you. For wherever you go, I will go, and wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. When you die, I will die. And there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also. If anything but death parts you and me. In other words, Ruth was a dedicated friend. She's a classic example of loyalty and real love. Glory be to God. See, Ruth was one of those ride and die free. Yeah, yeah. I'm so glad today, y'all, yeah. that I have a perfect friend in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. He's dedicated, yeah. loyal, and totally committed yeah. to us. Yeah. Yeah. He not only watches over us all night long, but he wakes us up early in the morning. Yeah. Closed in our right mind. Yeah. He orders our steps yeah. and he carries our earth. Yeah. In the midst of our stormy lives, yeah. he shows up and says, peace, yeah. be still. Yeah. And the mighty winds and the, and the waves uh, obey him. Yeah. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Yeah. He's a present help in times of need. Yeah. If I send up to heaven, yeah. the Bible tells me that he's dead. Yeah. If I make my bed in hell, yeah. behold, he is dead. Yeah. If I take wings of the morning and dwell in the uppermost parts of the sea, yeah. even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. Yeah. Glory be to God. In other words, he is a friend that's with me always and in all times, everywhere, not sometimes, not when it's convenient, but always. Glory be to God. He's a better friend to us than we are to ourselves. Have mercy, Lord. When Saul was trying to kill David, he was a friend through Jonathan, the son of Saul. When the Israelites were backed up against the Red Sea and Pharaoh's army was closing in for the kill, God was a friend to his people through Moses. When he departed the Red Sea and allowed them to cross over on dry land. Won't he do it? He was a friend to Daniel when they told him to bow down and worship King Darius, yeah. not to pray for 30 days. Yeah. But Daniel kept on praying to God Almighty three times a day. Yeah. Yeah. He was a friend to God. Yeah. Then they threw him in the lion's den, y'all. Yeah. But I'm so glad that God was there yeah. and the lions could eat. Yeah. Cause God had cured their appetite. He keeps on being our friend even when we're not worthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He be our friend when we're down. Yeah. He picks us up and he turns our life around. Yeah. He is our protector and deliverer. Yeah. Therefore, we should make every effort yeah, yeah. to love one another and tell as many people we can that God, that Jesus yeah. is the good news. The good news is that he hung on a cross. And they buried him in a bar for two. But three days later, he rose with all power in his hand. I'm so glad today that we have a perfect friend in Jesus Christ. All our sins and grief to bear. Oh, what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. I'm so glad that the devil has been defeated. He is our enemy, but Jesus is our everlasting friend. Jesus is our peace in the midst of a storm. No matter what you're going through, 
Jesus will fix it. When you broke, when you are broke, busted, and disgusted, he is a bill tail. And he's a hard regulator. He's able to do everything but fail. If you are sick, call Dr. Jesus. He is our deliverer and redeemer. He will deliver you from alcohol and drug abuse. And whatever you got that ain't right. He will redeem you from an enemy, from an eternity in hand. Won't he do it? He is the Christ, the son of the living God. He is our perfect friend who came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. But he was betrayed arrested and falsely accused. Just like some of us are today. Then he was sentenced to die on that rugged cross. A rugged cross that we should have been on. But Jesus came to take our place. The Bible tells us that why he was up on that cross suffering for us. That they cried out to God and say, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Then the Bible say they took him down and buried him in an unused tomb. Not only was it unused, but it was borrowed, my friend, because it wasn't going to need it too long. But how many know that that's not how the story ends? Because three days later, my perfect friend rose again. I'm so glad that the grave could hold him. And death couldn't subdue him. Oh, death, where is your stand? Oh, grave, where is your victory? He's alive and he's sitting up on high. He sits at the right hand of the Father. He is a perfect friend forever. Not only that, my friend. But he is a bridge over troubled water. I'm so glad that he lives today. He lives in me and he lives in you. He will never leave us more than save us. He's with us always, even until the end of the world. So I come by to tell you, you need to make him your perfect friend right now. And you will never be alone again. Because he not only cares for you, but he loves you as well. And he is our sure way to salvation. What he do it, y'all? Can nobody do what the Lord has done for me? When he rose from the dead, hallelujah, he set us free. Let me say it again. When he rose from the dead, he set us free. Glory be to God. I'm going to tell you about me right quick. You see, I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind and I could not see. When you wiped away all my teeth, it brought me joy. I'm talking about unspeakable joy in the midst of my sorrow, in the midst of my mess. He cleaned it up, y'all. He picked me up and turned me around. He put my feet on solid ground because all of the ground was sinking sand. He healed my body when I was sick. He healed your body when you were sick. Let me ask you a question. Do you need him to heal you? Somebody say yeah. Even though we are struggling on every side, but not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Because I got a friend. I got a friend. I got a friend. A real friend. A good friend. Sometimes I'm persecuted, but not forsaken. Because my friend, the Lord, is interceding for me. He's my coach. He looks after me. He's there looking out for me. He sits at the right hand of the Father. Glory be to God. We got another chance. We got a do-over. Because of Christ, he died for us. He gave his life just for us. Down. 
for the not to struggle. In other words, we may be at the end of the rope, but thanks be to God, we're never at the end of hope. Therefore, to all my friends today, I want to say to you, have faith. Have faith in God and live. He said, they that come to me must believe that I am. That I'm a rewarder of those that diligently seek me. Oh, glory be to God. With faith in Christ, you can love your good and bad friends. With faith, you can begin to love yourself. With faith, you can be real, be a real friend. With faith, you can discover the real you again. Glory be to God. Some of us are walking around here. We know we need some counseling. Some of us are walking around here. Know we need to be delivered. Some have some childhood problems. We've been abused and ridiculed and kicked to the curb. And we are still hurting from our past life. You need to get delivered. If you can't pay for counseling, you need to come to the Lord. Bow down on your knees. He said, come to me, all ye that are burdened down and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He will give you rest. He will fix your problem. He will make it all right. And nobody do me like the Lord can. Therefore, let us live for Jesus. He has overcome the world. The Bible says that in the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. Oh, sometimes it sounds like just words. But when I was going through that, it was music to my ears. God's words are powerful. Ah, uh, you should try him sometime. His words uh, are miraculous. His words will bring about peace in your life. His words will heal you. Glory be to God. I'm so glad today that he is my friend. No matter what I do or go through, God doesn't look down on me because there's something they call grace and mercy. I'm so glad for grace and mercy. But if it had not been for the Lord on my side, I don't know where I would be. Because I've been in the ditch and I've been in the mire clay. But one day, one day, he picked me up and he turned my life around. And I ain't worried
All you gotta do is just start to trust him. And he is the perfect free. He ain't classified as good, best. He's a perfect friend. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He's with you always, even until the end of the world. Please stand to your feet at this time. If something has been said that has twerked your heart and you want to make Tower Power your home church or have you been struggling with your life and you want to give your life to Christ we all had to come and do it this is your time, this is your day, this is your opportunity to give your life to Christ. Come at this time, if you want to make Christ your Lord and Savior. Come at this time. Glory be to God. Let me see the hands of everybody that's saved. If you're not saved, I need you to step out in the aisle and come on down. I want you to leave here without being saved. Everybody say, see your hand again. One more time, one more time, one more time. Glory be to God. We got a house full of saved people. Glory be to God. Won't he do it? Glory be to God. But even though we are saved, we need prayer. We need prayer. We have burdens. This world is tossing us. As my mama used to walk through the house, the world is tossed to me, singing that song. She used to sing that song real good when she was going through something. And then it seemed like after a while, everything would be all right. So if you want prayer, come on down here. Come on, don't be afraid. Come on down. Prayer works. We are all interceders. We are all intercessors. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Anybody else? Don't think about it. Just do it. You know you need it. It'll do your soul some good. You thinking about what you're going through. Don't think about that. You say, I'm just going to get this gold nugget today. I'm just going to get this prayer today. I'm just going to come on and get some prayer. Somebody can stand in the gap for somebody. You know somebody you need to be praying for? Somebody you've been had your mind on? Come on, be that great intercessor for them. Be that perfect friend. Glory be to God. I want everybody to say under their breath that God hears you. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me. Lord Jesus, heal me. Lord Jesus, Accept me. Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Father God, we lift our hands up to you today. Seeking, Lord, your grace and your mercy. Lord, you've been there with us through thick and thin. Lord, you've been hope when we are in the hopeless.
your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord, in our life. Touch that baby, Lord, that's having trouble with us. A children, Lord. Touch her right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch that family that are having trouble with food right now, Lord. Oh, Lord, make a way, Lord. Lord, make a way for that family that worry about how I'm going to pay my rent at the end of the month. Oh, Lord. Lord, we come to you, Lord. Our own resource. Because we know that you will make a way out of no way, Lord. And so, Lord, we put all our faith and trust in you. Because we know that you will do it, Lord. And we expect it, Lord. Oh, do it, Lord. Have your way. Touch your children, Lord God. Touch your Lord God. Heal and deliver them as only you know how. Father, we want to thank you. Father, we want to glorify you. Father, we want to lift you up, Lord God. That you have your way. Thank you, Lord. Somebody been waiting for something. I don't know who it is. Somebody been waiting. But God hears you. Your ship may be stuck out at sea, but it's on the way into shore. Your blessing is on the way. Your blessing is on the way. God make the way out of nowhere. God is saying to somebody, if only you believe. All you got to do is believe and watch things change in your life. If you believe, God saying, if you believe, just watch things change in your life. Father, I thank you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for being Jehovah Yireh, our provider. Thank you for being Jehovah Small, our peace. Thank you, Lord, for being Jehovah God. Thank you, Lord. Bless these people, Lord God. Bless them, Lord. Look deep in their heart. Their problems and their worries and their concerns. And Father, we know that it's going to be all right. As we give you praise. And we glorify you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give God some praise. Put your hands together. Give God some praise.